How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Um, I have to ask you, yeah. the success of the show, like you never know when a show is going to be on and if it's going to be successful. That's right. At what point did you realize, oh my God, this is a juggernaut? Uh, well, fairly early on, as Outlander had a huge fan base as books, and so I knew all of these people were going to like the show, and uh, as soon as it hit, uh, they all started talking about it, which of course caused the, the ripple effect, sure. or as they say, the Outlander effect, and it's, it's kept on spreading. Yeah, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the last pickup was for two seasons. That's right, yeah. Uh -huh. Which is also unheard of. Is it really? Well, well we're... It's very difficult to get a two-season pickup. Well, we're very privileged, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't want to, I guess I'll ask you for Outlander fans, can you tease what's coming up next season that maybe would surprise people? Oh my goodness. Well, no I can't because we haven't started breaking script for the next season. Or do you mean season four? What has, what, where are you in the production process? We are just wrapping season four this, at the end of the month, in fact. <laughs> yeah, we're on the, shooting the finale right now. As no pressure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> but how does that change also when you know you're coming back? I mean, are you are you acknowledging that like at the end of each season you want to do a cliffhanger because you know you're coming back? Uh -huh. No, I don't think they do. In fact, uh, when I read the script for the finale, it had a terrific cliffhanger, and I wrote back and I said, "This is brilliant. They're going to scream, but it's brilliant." Oh, anyway, the next rewrite, it came back, and they had decided not to do the cliffhanger. So you know, and, and there you go. it um, may change again. You don't know. I'm not going to pepper you for Outlander things. I'm going to do something that I've been doing with everyone on the carpet, which is called "Get to Know Your Saturn Award Attendee." All right. Okay, so here we go. Hold on, I messed up. Uh, what TV show do you want to do a guest appearance on besides Outlander? Doctor Who. Okay. Uh, do you have a favorite sci-fi, fantasy, or horror film? Uh, let me see. I probably do, but I'm not sure I can think of it right now. Uh, let's see. Oh, the, the thing from another world. Okay. Uh, what film scared you as a kid? Uh, Angry Planet. <laughs> Good. Yes. Uh, what do you collect? Uh, books. Uh, in a fire, what's the book, the first, the one that you grab off the shelf and run out with? <laughs> it's one of the first books I can remember reading by myself. It's called Mr. Mixie Doe. <laughs> uh, what's the most you spent on sneakers or shoes? Oh, let's see, uh, each pair or, or cumulative? No, no, there's one pair. Have you ever, have you ever gone crazy on one pair? Uh, 400 bucks is the most I've spent on one pair. That is reasonable. Uh, do you own any movie or TV show props? No. <laughs> Not even from the show? Uh, they give me stuff every once in a while, so I guess I own them. I didn't go out of my way to acquire them. <laughs> when you're walking around Comic-Con, what, uh, what do you look for to buy? Oh, uh, usually just look look at stuff. You know, I seldom am looking to buy, but you know, every once in a while something will just uh, catch my my eye. I like the steampunk, uh, you know, accessories and things like that. But I seldom buy them. I just admire the workmanship. I, completely. Um, uh, what would be what would surprise people to learn about the making of Outlander? Oh my goodness! Uh, let's see. Besides the crazy long hours, <laughs> how many times they do the same scene over and over again? Sure. Uh -huh. um, that, that's actually totally legit. Uh, it's the same scene done twenty times. Yeah, I, I have seen that uh, many times on set. It's crazy. People don't realize. Yeah, no, they do. But uh, what's most fun is watching the actors in between the scenes. You know, between scene twelve and scene thirteen, they start unraveling and <laughs> around, <laughs> around you know, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. You know, every other word is. <laughs> Do you remember what got you into wanting to be a writer? I just always have known I was supposed to be a writer from about the age of eight. <laughs> I, I just knew that's what I was supposed to do. That, that's amazing that you knew it that early. Uh, most people do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, what TV show have you watched all the way through more than once? Ooh, let's see. Um, hmm. I don't think there is one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a lot of time to watch TV because I watch all the dailies from the show. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, what movie have you watched the most? <laughs> Thing from another world. <laughs> um, I will leave it there and I will say congrats on everything. Well, thank you so Very much. Very nice to have met you. Oh, you For real.